<laughs> You've probably heard of the Rio de Janeiro Carnival. Only one of the uh, the hottest uh, you know events in the world oh. calendar. Yeah. <laughs> imagine me down there. Oh, Rio! God. You can imagine. Did not know oh, what hit it. Oh God! Oh my! Were you like uh, Paul the Party Animal Park? He would not have been able to keep up if he was with me. God! What did you do? Oh. What did you get up to? Oh, let me tell you right now. Um, day one, I almost drowned. Day two, I got a foot infection and spent the day in the hospital. And the rest of the time, I had diarrhoea. So that's uh, that's the, that was a hell of a that was a hell of a time. Carnival. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, I was able to watch some of the carnival on TV, oh and right. it looked brilliant. It looked did amazing. It? Um, I didn't actually. I, it was difficult to make out because the TV wasn't actually in my room. Because <laughs> um, in an effort to save money, I wasn't staying in a hotel. I was staying with a bunch of other people in some kind of like someone's flat that they let out, and uh, so I had to look. I had to watch the TV was, like from my window, watching a neighbour's TV. And of course, when they changed the channel, you know, often during the juicy bits, I couldn't see anything. And um, so, but they looked really good. I'm bunged up at the moment just so I can get through the show. But I've just been on a 12-hour flight, and it is terrifying being on a flight when you know that any moment you could go. Because you know how the problem is sometimes the toilet's free and sometimes in, you've got to queue up. And the worst bit is that that sort of half an hour just before you land when they say the toilets are out of bounds now. <laughs> I'd say I went twice before that in quick succession. The woman sat next to the toilet. She was she didn't know what was going on, the noises and stuff in there. And I was because I was really oh. panicky. Oh Christ! And um and so of course then on the whole flight uh, as we're landing, I'm just I'm really petrified because I'm thinking this could. I, mean, I packed a pair of underpants and jeans in my, in my bag in the hold all just in case it all went. Oh and I was no. really, because I hate flying anyway, and I hate landing because it's the most terrifying moment of the journey. Then it really was rumbling, and I was thinking, I've got to get out of here. Of course, you know you know when you're in a hurry, everything, suddenly, everything makes you angry. The little old lady in front of me who's just hobbling along off the gangplank. Go yeah. away! Yeah. You know, just really annoying. With your, with your, with your bad hips and yeah, your bad and legs. Yeah, and your Zimmer frame. I know you've been through a war, but get out of my way! <laughs> yeah. And just anyone who kind of even passes you, oh, you just, oh. and uh, so I, yeah, I managed to get there just in time. Got into the t- and it all went off. Man alive, it was, it was grim. But th- that was that was not anything compared with the first couple of days. Because the first day I was, I went for a walk. Everything the beach is famous for just the beautiful, beautiful people that gather there. There's so many beautiful women in Rio. It made me angry. <laughs> I was angry that these women were so attractive and that, you know, none of them were even looking at me. So, but anyway, I'm on the beach because I, I was shopping and I needed a wee, right? And we went for a quick impromptu swim and I thought, oh, we in the, in the sea. Just think of him on this beach, right? With diarrhea. Well, I'm wearing great big long shorts because I'm not going to try and compete with these boys because they and are... And you are... Could I say this? The whitest man uh, yeah. I've ever met in my life. Yeah. I mean, with his shirt off, you can see his heart like a newborn fish. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so. well, this is the thing. As I went into the sea to have a wee, oh, there was a discussion about this. As I went into the sea to have a wee? <laughs> in a well, litter tray. See, there was a discussion about this because I'm very much of the opinion that you should take your trunks down. And some people, uh, some of my friends are saying, just do it in your trunks and let's see the sea just wash it away. What a hell of a carnival. Well, <laughs> I think that's, I'm against that. I've always been against that. Against that in swimming pools, everything. Thing, you know, so I, so no, I think, I'm against pissing in swimming pools. Full stop. It doesn't matter whether you do get in, <laughs> take your trunks down or let don't piss but in, what the about in the sea. Yeah, well, fine. Yeah, fine, okay, okay, right, fish, so, fish do it. So, so anyway, so I'm in the sea trying to trying to urinate, and I so I kneeled because I'm obviously very tall, so it's tricky to get deep enough for the water to to mask what you're up to. So I tried to kneel down in the water, right, and, and I got the I got John Thomas out, but then the water swept out again and just left me on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so. But luckily, my, my back was to the everyone's so no one saw. So, um, so I, so I, I can't think of a funnier sight than Steve Merchant on his knees with his little John Thomas out. I don't know how big it is, I've never seen it. But for me, I imagine it's in proportion to the rest well, of it, is it? I no? wish. Um, this all, all I'll say is I've been a little short changed. But, um, so I, so then I got up and I waded a bit deeper in, right? And, uh, now I was sort of, I was, I was trying, I got it out. But what I didn't realise is that the waves just off the beach are really just uncontrollable. You never know what's going to happen. So suddenly, I see this giant wave coming towards me, crashing towards me, and I got the cock out and everything, and it grabs this wave, comes over me, and lifts me up, flips me up in the water, right? And I'm floundering around. I can't see anything, because, of course, I had to take my glasses off <laughs> just to go in the sea. Because I, oh, no. I didn't want to lose them. Oh, God. So, so I, so I floundering around, and I'm wa- genuinely getting scared because I, as I try to get into shore, the wave just pulls me back again. So I'm waving to my friends on the beach, 
But what with I everything. Well, what I don't realise is that because I'm wearing my because well, I'm not wearing my glasses, I don't realise that I've been dragged along the beach some way, and I'm not actually waving to my <laughs> friends. So there's like a bunch of these beautiful women on Ipanema Beach wa- watching a pasty white man waving with his cock out, and and what annoyed me was my friends were laughing, and that Steve, really, really angers if me. If I'd have been there. I would have burst. But why wouldn't you have come running? Would you have come running in and help me? Oh, I couldn't have saved you with your glasses off in your knob belt. <laughs> when, if I if I ever save you, I want you to be fully dressed with your glasses on. So you'd have just let me go. You'd have, that would have been what you'd said to my parents. He had his knob out and his glasses off. There was no way I was going to... I gonna... can't think of a funnier sight. Oh.